concise approach to top-down market strategies and the forces affecting investments. That's the spoken word on investing. Time once again to get the spoken word on the stock market from our chief equity strategist, John Blank, who joins me via Skype from the West Coast. John, you wrote recently in your May market strategy piece that the U.S. stock market is in a fair value stall. What does that mean? Well, Terry, uh, the high of last year was 2136 on the S&P, and the low in February we saw was 1812. So there's a huge 15 percent uh, range that was in, in place up until February. And what's gone now is we've gone all the way from one end of the range, 1800, all the way back to the other range, 2100. But from April through May, we've been in a very, very small range between 2040 and 2100, which is only a 3 percent range. So what's gone from a wide, volatile range to a very, very narrow range of stock prices. And this this is what's going on. So one day it's up 1% down, half a percent the next day. We're not going anywhere. And that tight, tight range, low, low volatility is telling us that the fair value of this market's been found. And we're going to be seeing this tight range for some time yet, right? Right. Until we see two two things and they're, they're opposite things. One is we start heading back to 1800. That's a correction and that will be a bear market. And that will tell us that something is really wrong with the fair value and then the earnings recession is going to get worse. Or we're going to get above 2100 and 2136, which would be even more remarkable, and that would mean that we're going to hit another leg of the bull market, and we can go all the way up four or 500 points from there, more likely 100 points, but we have a lot of upside left in this market. So can we term this a bull market correction yet? Uh, you know, it it's, was a correction, the longest correction we've seen, in, I think, in history from July to, to, to January. I think it was nine or 10 months of a correction. But it's behind us now, Terry, so I would say what's behind us. Okay. I was going to say, if it's still a correction, yeah, it's uh, one of the longest ones I've seen in, in some time. And I think it's the longest one ever, Terry. So you've got three main reasons why investors should still remain bullish on the stock market, on the U.S. stock market. What are they? Yeah, the first one is the unemployment rate's 5%, and uh, payroll numbers are coming in at 200000 a month. That's a, that's a bull market. That's a real strong economy, a real strong labor market. The one issue you do have also is that the part-time U9 unemployment rate is about 9%, right. which tells you that you know people looking for jobs that are better, better paying, you know, more, more benefits, all of that brings in more income. And that stage of the labor market where we firm up full-time jobs has to come. For the next year or two so that's that's one really big bullish reason the other is there's typically three reasons there that a bear market emerges one is that there's an inverted uh, interest rate yield curve we have a positive yield curve it's very flat but it's positive and the other ones are that the overvaluations the s p 500 get up to 25 times earnings we're at you know 17 we're we're 800 900 points away from that and the third one is deflation, which is seen outside the United States the last years or two. That's why we have bear markets outside the United States, but not in the United States. And actually, with oil prices getting better the, and wages going up, uh, it's very likely to see the 2 percent target of the Fed met in the next year or so. The third issue is the fixed income uh, in the United States is basically zeroed out. And so is it with negative rates and QE and everything going on outside the United States. It's certainly zeroed out. So. Even with Fed rate hikes of 25 or 50 basis points, the effective return on CDs is 1%. And that's not going to attract anybody into it, sticking money in a CD, and that keeps the stock market on fire. So on the topic of a Fed rate hike, is the stock market getting kind of comfortable with this notion that we might see one in June? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the, the Fed futures are at 30 40% in June, but that means there's another 30 40% left in July. So. Either June or July, and that's really irrelevant uh, which, which one it happens. But I'd say 70 or 80 percent a chance that one of those two months play out. You say there's been a shift in sector leaders. Talk to me about that. Yeah, the three ones I like, Terry, uh, traditional ones is healthcare, And a name in there that I really like is this uh, Air Methods company, ticker AIRM, which is a, uh, you know ambulance uh, air ambulance system for get people to hospitals quickly. Uh, that's a great example of what's going on. Demographics are strong, and the baby boomers are spending money on keeping themselves alive and healthy. And that ARM is a good example. And they're actually priced pretty well now, too. So healthcare other, is the leader now, right? Healthcare is the leader. The other two that have come up, Terry, is industrials and materials. And I'll tell you what's happening here. With the oil price rising, that's putting the business spending and confidence back in, in the outlook. And that's 
creating a lot of uh, improvement. The other thing, we have the weather turning. Housing is picking up, and, and a lot of uh, construction is going on. So there's another two names that I like in this space. One is Comfort Systems, ticker fix. This is uh, air conditioning for commercial, uh, mainly commercial installations and in apartment buildings and stuff like that. Ticker fix, Comfort Systems, great company, great stock. The uh, third one in the material space, Boise Cascade, BCC, ticket BCC. We all know this company is a very old lumber company, plywood company, a particle board company. These types of things, Terry, you knit, knit them out together. That's the world you can find a, a bull case for stocks. All right, John, thanks for that. There you have it. Spoken word from our chief equity strategist, John Blank, on the stock market with John. I'm Terry Ruffalo.